Hi, I'm Real Genetic Demon, and this is What's on the Tape, Season 7, uh, Volume 4. So, last week we had a, a lovely tape from um, the, 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 the rather marvellous uh, Douglas Titchmarsh. And this week I have a tape from my friend Eduardo, who lives in Spain. And as you can see from the title... It's the Spanish for games that's written on the top of there. So I'm actually excited about this because we may have Spanish versions of, of, of well-known titles and a few other things. So something we might not have seen, which will be really, really good. So it's got Programmers Times 2 on there. Um, this is the tape that I've chosen for the for the Specky. Hopefully it's full to the brim with, with goodies and we can enjoy it. But I think we're going to do... We'll see. I'll see how we get on. Maybe just one side and then another side next week to see if we can continue on. But anyway, without further ado, let's get this into a tape drive. Right, our tape is in the drive, so let's go with the usual. Let's go with load it. -di so let's go down there. So load it. -di Here we go. I'll load speech marks, speech marks. And let's push the button. I have got, to my side, I have got my um, trusty Dixon's tape recorder just in case. I've also got my um, adapter so that we can plug it in. Ooh, micro copy. With one, with an eye. Okay. Not, not out of this one. Hopefully it'll work. In. I hope you've got a beverage, because I've got a beverage. I've got my coffee. Hang on. Mmm. Ah, right. Micro pie or micro copy. So this will basically to be will load in a game and then allow you to copy the game. So so you'll load one and then you'll save it out again. So if we load the game here and F to finish, I'm guessing. So F will probably be is it shift F? Yeah, and it reboots. So that's uh, uh, first off. That's a, that's that's a, uh, an old school copying thing. Very quick loading into memory. I assume we may find that there's a few other games on here from that. What they tend to do is they tend to strip out the loading screens and they strip out a number of other things. But that's that's where we got to first. Micro copy. Yeah, fair enough. Not one I've heard of. The one I heard of previously was the key, which allows you to load things into memory um, and then save it back out again. It's famously where. <clears throat> I made special copies of uh, um, um, of of, uh, of um, Manic Miner. That wasn't very good, though. It didn't load second time round, though. Let's fingers crossed. I think I think my Azimuth is off here. My my Tolkien-esque Azimuth is off because those lines are a bit thick in the Cyan area. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think it's slightly off here. Let's just let's let's just cheat with the other tape recorder because then at least we can adjust the volume on that, so we can do a bit of cheating with that. So that's the way it goes. So let's go with that first. Let's cheat straight away and save some time. Right. Okay. Get the get the old adapter out, the old tape cassette adapter. We'll get that one out first. There we go. Pop that one in. I don't know why my dog's going bonkers in the background. I'm not. I'm not even going to go look. It can look. It can bark away to its heart's content until it goes hoarse. Hopefully, <laughs> it does a. It does. It does a lot of. It does a lot of barking. Oh, power in. Plug it in. That would help. We plugged it in. Oh, sorry. Tape thing went off. Let's do it. That's a little louder. Fingers crossed. Uh, see, there's a little, there's a little stutter there, a little, just a little, little, a little stutter on that, on that there. Look, oh, that's the first thing. Sorry, I've rewound right past, right back to the microchas, uh, mi microchasm, microcopy at the, the beginning there. So we've rolled, we've rolled back right there. So let's just, let's just turn the volume down a little bit. There we go. There's a little stutter there. It's not. It's not going to play. I can tell it's not going to play. Right. Okay. That's fair enough. We'll 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 swap it back into the tape drive and we'll fast forward past that one. We'll see what we'll see. What we can find something further along that, that works. That that was that was not a not a good start on that particular. But oh, we got the first part working. We got the 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 copying facility. That that definitely worked. So let's just carry on and we'll see whether we we can we can we can 
See if we can find something else on here that actually works. Fred. Oh, do you know what? We might. I th I think I know what this is. This is a, this is a this is a game called. Uh, this is it was actually called Fred on the uh, by Quicksilver released it in the in the UK. Um um um. Let's see if we can do a load because I think it I think it'll be speech marks speech marks and now we I've got to find speech marks speech marks and now what was the screen key? Now this is where I'm going to get the other spectrum out. Hang on a second. You just stay there. I'm just grab my spectrum. I'm just grabbing the spectrum up here. Hang on, I'm back. Come on, I'm here. running all the way. Right, okay. Screen key. Um, screen key is on the key key, and it requires symbol shift. It says so. Symbol shift key. No, that's a plus. Delete symbol shift. Um, it's not that mode. It's extended mode, is it? Extended mode, and then symbol shift key. There, screen. I think this will load the screen. I think. Here we go. I think this will load the screen for Fred if I do this. Oh, our tape error. That wasn't a good start, was it? Let's do load code. Let's do. Let's try. Let's try load code. So last distant scanning mode code. Let's see whether that works. Oh, I missed a. Oh, I'm having a I'm having a time here, haven't I? There we go. Got everything out already, and it's been it's not been the, the not been the best of uh, starts. Come on then. Yeah, it's the screen. There you go. It's the screen for Fred. So that's what it was. So Fred, I don't. It might not be the same Fred I'm thinking of though, but we'll see. No, it's definitely the one. It's definitely the Pharaoh's one. So basically, Fred is like a little dungeoneer who's 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 who's, who's kind of in the mummy's, you know, sort of the Pharaoh's tombs, and he's basically trying to make his way out of the Pharaoh's tombs. But this will be the original, um, the original um, release from. Oh, it's going to load. Wow, it's might actually load. Um, this will be the original release in, in in Spain, which is where I think it originally originated. If I'm if I'm if I'm right, I may be completely wrong. You tell me that. Tell you tell me in the comments below. Um, I'll, I'll I'll ask I'll ask I'll ask I'll ask Mel. He knows Mel Mel know the answer. Um, um, but uh, yeah, I'm sure it was originated in Spain. I think it's originally a Spanish game. Um, it was also uh, redone for and sort of rebranded for the Amstrad as a Roland in the caves. Can't remember. No, it's a Roland game anyway. It's been rebranded as Roland game. It's actually very good on the on the Amstrad um, CPC. Actually, I really quite enjoyed it on the Amstrad CPC. Wasn't it one that came with it as well? It's one of those because um, the way that I mean, actually, it was a smart move by by Alan Sugar. The way he wanted to do it is he wanted a bit like his Hi-Fi systems. He wanted to do it as sort of cheaply as possible, which is fair comment, um, but obviously robust enough that it survives. And I, I think that's that's fair fair as well. Um, I mean, that's what most businesses want to do. They want to do it as so, as cheaply as possible, but and t maintain a certain level of quality to it. So he, that was the sort of thing. And and basically with the Amstrad, he he because he wanted to sell it to the everyman because it came with a monitor it came with a with a with a keyboard it came with either a, a three inch floppy drive or a, or a tape deck um and it would basically had a lot of improvements over the other generations that came out because they're a little late to the game um it, it, it had sort of better palettes and all this kind of stuff and if you got the proper full screen the color screen it was brilliant um green screen was just utterly ridiculous it's 100 quid less but it was it was almost ridiculous so it's a it's I, I, I rather like them but 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 they all they always came with like um um, certainly, the 464 came with a pack of 10 um, games, and that Roland was one of them. The other one that really, really love, and I'm, I'm doing, you know, I'm almost tempted to fire up the old Amstrad CPC again today, is um, Oh Mummy. I absolutely love Oh Mummy. It's a simple game. All you need to do is make walk round. Wait, it worked as well. So, um, that's start the game. I'm going to assume this is going to be difficult, isn't it? Um, can't tell what's what. Oh, Fred today. Do, 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 do. Old funeral march is always in those games. Uh, which one's keyboard? 
<laughs> oh, uh, let's go with, I think four start the game. You start. Um, three. What's three? Three. Oh, God. Okay. Right. Up, down, fire. I'm going to hope, hope that's right. Redefine the keys. Let's press four. That's jump. Right, so it's jump, left, right. Fire is fire. So I'm, I got the keys wrong. It's jump, left, right. So this will be, goes up. Yeah, and the other one's down. So basically I've got the up and down wrong. So, so it's fine. Alright, okay, it's fine. Yeah, so basically the idea of the game is that this little man here... And, and, do you know something? I never thought about the language barrier here. Um, <laughs> it never crossed my mind that that, that, that I would... That, 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 um, that, 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 that there would be a, a, an issue with the, the language. Of course there was going to be an issue with the language, especially with Define the Keys. But well, at least we know what Redefine Keys looks like in Spanish. So, um, yeah. So definitely fire. So what did I get wrong? So... At first, two keys were up and down, and then it was left and right. This is weird. So basically, the idea of the game is that you, this little man here has to escape, and I can't believe this loaded actually, has to escape from from this uh, this 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 uh, mummy sort of uh, place, and we've got to avoid the ghosts. And that's why you've got the bullets. Um, that way. There we go. There we go. It's really that gets rid of the ghost. The ghost takes your energy away, which is obviously that that uh, vi vi dia vidia. I guess that's life. Uh, there we go. And then down. It's so weird with my keys so messed up as well. I was a good. I was a guess. I was a guess. It was a guess. Definitely a guess at what was, what was what. All right. So come on, Fred. I can't believe I'm managing it on the dodgy keys and. Uh... Oh God. It's. I can't. I can't get myself right. Okay. Climb. 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 This way. Climb. 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 This way. Climb, 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 climb. That way. Avoid the poisonous um, hedgehog. Which I've managed to run into. And there's some poison dropping down. Watch my health. But it doesn't matter. It's too late now. Avoid the hedgehog. Ha ha, hedgehog. I've got past you. Oh. Oh, down we go. I guess there's a map in it you have to find. I can't remember that much. I, I, the thing is, I remember quite liking Fred, but I re like it liked it on the CPC more than I liked it on the Spectrum. And I know that's kind of sacrilege to say that when I'm playing it right now. But I kind of liked the, the CPC version because it was like all colourful and whatever else it is. I remember being quite enamoured by it at the time. It reminds me of Splunky. Um, I actually recently bought that um, the, the new version of Splunky um, on, on, uh, on uh, GOG. It was cheap, and I thought, I'm going to buy that, because I had it on the, the Xbox um, 360, but it was, of course it was on the PS3 as well. Um, and I quite enjoyed that. It was quite, good, quite, quite fun as a game. Right. We're meant to be finding our way out anyway. It's a treasure treasure thing. Apologies if you can hear the dog in the background. Yet again, it's, it's, it's involving itself in whatever's going on. Let's see... Um... Get off. Those ghosts aren't very nice at all. Obviously you can shoot them to make them go away. Right, okay, here we go. There's some more bullets. That's that bullet there. Boring. Oh, damn. Run! I'm not doing well here. Scroll! There's the map look of the way out. 
so that you can you've now got a map so we can start finding our way out it's not a bad game actually quick silver game um for in as says uk release there's a life i think as well up here ah i'm really struggling with my with my key configurations it's not fun i'm about to die i think ah yeah, struggling with my key configurations. I'm not sure where I am on that map, actually. I don't know whether the blue lines are... Uh, try and look at that. I think I'm going... I think I think there's nothing to go to here, I think. Or maybe I'm wrong. Go this way. There's something down there, look. I think that's health, probably. Yeah, it's he it was health. Doesn't really matter, though, because I've killed myself with the with the, with the the head jog. Oh, well, Fred's dead. Level the th th whatever else is. You're dead. Oh. Fred is dead. That's kind of cool. Put your name in. You know, put your initials in. Ah, one, two. And enter for yes. So there we go. Put the demon in there. We'll stick that in there. Ah, that's all right. I'm actually amazed that loaded actually from 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 there. I, was, I thought I thought I thought that would have had it. There we go. I'm not Fred. I'm I'm dead. <laughs> that funeral march didn't have to appear a lot in games years ago. It was just it was everywhere. Everybody had a funeral march in it for some reason. So anyway, let's carry on. See what else we can get. I can't believe that worked. I thought for a minute that we were just going to get the loading screen, but no, we managed to get the whole thing. So basically, the day first part of it was just a, a dummy loader. Probably didn't do anything other than possibly turn the screen black so that when you loaded the original picture line by line, because of the way it loads the, 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 the into memory, um, that would that would be that would be it really. Right, we're playing. Oh, here we go. Mm. Day one. Okay, not a game, not a name, not something I recognise straight away. I'm having a cup of coffee, by the way. I'm just drinking my coffee while I'm while I'm waiting for this. Mm. Oh. oh, I'm really into coffee at the moment. I think I'd like. I've had. I think I've had two or three already today. That's not very good, is it? It's not good for me. I'm gonna get my heart rate po um, sort of pulsing. I think with all that. Okay, yep. S screen now probably loading, most likely. Not quite a custom loader, a little bit different. They did create turbo loaders later. Um, Strange Loop is always the one that comes to mind. And everybody, I think I mentioned Strange Loop probably every other episode, but Strange Loop is the one that comes to mind. There was also one on pole position as well. Ah, oh, Daily Thompson's Decathlon, day one. Brilliant. Keep, keep, um, keep, uh, keyboard um, smashing game. Brilliant. Anyway, um, but yeah, there was some fast loaders which were meant to sort of speed up the loading process. Problem was that um, I think the quality of the tape and the mechanisms and the, the how you looked after them really depended on how you ever did it. I think I've only I think I've said this before. I've only ever seen Strange Loop load the once in, or once or twice in my whole life. And I think the times we second time we loaded it, um, and I say we we it would be me and my friends because we always used to play it together as kids. Um, it probably got left on. For the next sort of day or two, just to make sure it did that. I, mean, I, was, I say day or two, probably like next few hours, because make sure they do it. And I say I always have fun members of Strange Loop, but I don't think it's very good. And that's the big, the big problem with Strange Loop. <laughs> I, th I, I'm sh I feel like I, I like it, but I don't. I probably it's probably rubbish, really. Um, I think I put it on the Amstrad CPC, and it's not quite the same. The Spectrum's quite fast in comparison to the CPC version of it, which is a bit bit slower. However, it is re reimagined in with all the colours and the palette there. So, um, but yeah, I didn't. And I don't. I don't think it was quite as good as I remember. So, uh, so Daley Thompson was. Um, wasn't he a gold medalist? I think he was. He was an Olympic gold medalist. There's certainly a, there was certainly a road called Daley Thompson's Road somewhere in somewhere down south. 
I say south, it's probably in the north and in sort of Manchester and, and Liverpool kind of way, probably something like that. But 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 yeah, further further south than I live. So so and and Daley Thompson was 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 was, but was a winner. But I'm told that I got. I said this last time round that he was a winner, and 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 people went, yeah, but so and so didn't enter at that time, and somebody else didn't win to enter. Well, that's just tough, isn't it? He still won. Um, I think somebody said that. I can't remember which teams they were didn't enter, but they would have been the main competition for him. Ah, Daly Thompson, you can't do that when we've got so far through it, Daly. You can't do that. Let's see if we can do it. On, let's wonder if we can do 128k. Let's see if we can do 128k version of it. We'll go back a little bit. We'll give it one more try, and then we're gonna go. We're gonna go. We're gonna go with. Uh, we're gonna go with uh, with 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 fast forwarding on, and we'll, we'll we'll pick it up again. I suspect if we've got day Thompson part one, day one, we've probably got day two. So if, if day two loads, we're, we're we're laughing. That's just the bit where it was going before. There we go, day one. Right, put it in 128k mode, so we'll give it a go, see if that works. See if we'll do any better. Or maybe need to give the tape a little drive, a little clean, clean, to be honest with you. So we've got 60 minutes on this, a C60, it's a Max Maxel um, tape, or Max Maxwell? Maxel? Maxel. It's Maxel, isn't it? Maxel tape. Whatever happened to them? Be another one of those things that disappeared in the past, won't it? It'll be absolutely disappearing, sort of in, in, in uh, into the ether. Um, next week, uh, next week, it depends on how this goes. Um, if we continue on and do the whole tape, which I doubt to be honest with you, but we'll give it a try because it's it's quite a decent tape. But we're barely into it, and we're twenty minutes down. So, so I think we'll be doing the one side of this, and then the next side next week. But the week after, I'm probably going to go back to the, the the tapes from Douglas actually, because uh, we'll do we'll swap between the two because we've got such a lovely pack from both of them. It's it's great. These are like Douglas's original um, home. Uh, tapes, the ones that he sent in to me, and and I love it when you got people sort of history that go with these things. So so it's really nice to see. And we got we got we got a we got a lot of home written programs last week. A lot of them were from um, various manuals and 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 bits and pieces. Um, and, and again, um, one of them, one of them, uh, um, Mel um, made a real effort and he found out where they all came from. But Mars, I think one was called Attack on Mars, Land on Mars, something similar. But it was really good. I liked that one. It used a really clever use of the um, plotting the lines on the screen, and it kind of did them randomly, so that it gave this red planet with a sort of a jagged, jagged spaces between them. It was really nice, and then the little Martian thing itself landing and landing in the spot. It's a shame it didn't start in the sort of randomised at the top of the screen or centred in something similar and then left and right to give it a little bit more challenge. But I tell you what, it was a good little program for what it was. It wasn't that many lines actually either from 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 memory. It was quite quite a short little program, but it was quite a good little program. So. Anyway, yes, Daley Thompson. I can't remember which even even which Olympics it was that he did so well, but he was very very popular and 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 did 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 really really well. I remember that. Everybody had Daley Thompsons, and he had that lo and he has that well. I don't know if he still has that lovely moustache, but he has a lovely moustache, a be beautiful tash, it's proper 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 moustache, you know, nice and thick, woolly, sort of like 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 Burt Reynolds, Burt Reynolds, you know. Uh, did he pass away? He did, didn't he? Uh, not that long ago, either. Burt Reynolds. Well, uh, but, you know, uh, Burt Reynolds, great. It was Actually, what, was, what a comedian he was. If you ever actually spent any time watching some of the other stuff, he was actually quite a good, um, witty comedian. Um, and and uh, that, uh, I really like, quite liked... I, I did like Burt Reynolds. I liked a bit of Burt Reynolds. I mean, Smokey and the Bandit. Even Cannonball Run. You have to. The thing is that they're movies of the time. They kind of they've, they've aged, um, and they, you, you expect them to age. I'm sure that I'm sure that in this day and age, in inverted commas, um, somebody will be somebody will be upset by it. Why is that doing that? That's really weird. It's still loading, but that's loaded up on the screen like that. Right. Okay. Let's carry on. We'll fast. We'll, we'll move on from the Kyle Carl Thompson's keyboard mashing decathlon, and um, we'll we'll go with with basic. That was so weird that it did that. We've done a full reset anyway. So so let's find out where we're at. There was mo definitely more data there. Look, you can hear it. Uh, okay. Here we go. 
Day two. Ha <laughs> ha. What a surprise. Daily Thompson's day two. Well, if we can get into day two, at least we can have day two. So so, so we'll, we'll give that a try. The lines on the side of the screen are absolutely beautiful. They're so, so solid and perfect. That's when you. That's when it's set correctly for, for the whole thing. I wonder sometimes, I mean, as I say, a lot of these things lie around in attics and whatever else is. I can't imagine that it's good for, for tape to lay that long in, in things. I, I wonder how many people have got um, older media that no longer sort of functions correctly because of that. That's a real, that's actually a real task, that, um, maintaining old formats and functions of things that's actually a real that's actually a real job i think there's, there's, there's a lot of preservation that goes on when it comes to that kind of um media certainly um i think the the amigas and the floppy drives of the, the, the time that the, the uh, three and a half inch discs they're starting to really show their age at this point they, they get what's known as bit rot um which basically means that they they don't load anymore which is a real shame and and you get a, you get a lot of this with 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 with, with the age of, of, of media um, I think the same really applies to tapes I, I think we, we had one where we had do you remember River Raid a number of a number of weeks back probably even last in the last se se uh, series um, the River Raid um, I actually had a copy on tape and I thought I'll use that one it works and I remember I, I loaded the wrong side and it was a side with a red dot on which had already been through and went oh damn that one doesn't work and I put it over the other side and it still didn't work um, I think that's the problem I mean tape gets pulled as well from the drives that it's in it's being dragged through it's i guess it loses uh, the, the magnetic surface loses cohesion gosh big words for today um but but yeah i, I guess it guess it uh, data wise it becomes corrupt sooner or later so uh, i guess that's the way it is it's really funny i'm looking at the picture and up by up to underneath the end of decathlon right there's a little bit of there's some of the 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 the, 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 the crowd because all across the crowd is blue and obviously there's there's some that are related to the fact that they're to do with the the, the way they lay out on the screen. There's a little black square there. I wonder if that was the artist's trademark because there's a number of artists or pixel artists that that, that 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 do this sort of screenshots and they often used to leave like a, a mark or a watermark almost in their pic pictures. Even back then, they used to be sort of aware that that it was it was this you know that the, the I don't know I don't know if, not that people were copying them but but we used to be aware of it and they used to put like a little little signature a little trademark at the corner of it. Don't know maybe that's the case. Daily Thompson's Decathlon. This has popped up a few times, hasn't it? Not as many as you think, though. It's always one that I always thought would pop up a lot more than it does. I was always really, really envious of my friend who had all these ocean games back in the day. We used to go around at his house, and there, uh, um, he had, he had, he had Mr. Wimpy, and he had, he had Hunchback, and he had Daily Thompson's Decathlon. We always wanted Daily Thompson's Decathlon. Don't ask me why. We always wanted to play that. I think it's because you can you play multiple players. Can you play like one, two, three, four? I think you can, can't you? I thought at least two players on it. So we used to really like Daily Thompson's Decathlon as a result. So we always used to be... Daily Thompson's Decathlon was just the mainstay of our, our visits to his house. You know, it's like, get that on. Oh, uh, that... That, and that's worked now. That and... Um, the other one that was a mainstay, which is really good, was um, was, was uh, Way of the Exploding Fist. One-on-one -on -one fighting. Love Way of the Exploding Fist. Brilliant game. Absolutely fantastic. I was delighted when I got it again for the Spectrum. Right. Okay, let's go keyboard. Uh, redefine keys. Um, yes. And I'm going to go left, right, space. This is going to be a mistake. Right, okay. And it's my name. Hurdles. I don't even remember these ones. So it's tap, tap, tap and space, basically. Hurdles. Day two. On your marks, get set. So tap the buttons like mad to get your speed up. Then push the button to hurdle when you get to the right place. No, I'm not getting the hurdles right here. <laughs> One, two, three, four, no, five. I don't know if I've done it. I've just qualified. The qualifying time at the top was 14.5 seconds. Five seconds. There we go. I've just qualified for that one. Mashing that keyboard. We're not going to do the other for Daily Thompson's, by the way, because we've got we've got this one. Who needs another Daily Thompson's where we've got this one? 
So this is the pole vault. This should be you'll be running and then putting the thing in. And we've got to do 4.3, 4.4 meters. So we we get our speed up. Oh my goodness! Too late. I should have put it down earlier and jumped that jumped that thing. Oh no! No, I'm not very good at this pole vault thing. I've done this before, actually. I've done too many fouls as well. I'm, I'm, I might lose life here. Foul. I'm done it. I'm doing it too late. Discus anyway. At least it's let us continue on, so that's nice. It's not giving, not just throwing us at the white for else's game. We're mashing the keyboard here. That's really good. Let's get the speed up, and then you've got to hold the button down, and then fire. And I've thrown it at an odd angle. <laughs> <laughs> I threw it in the, into the into the crowd. I probably killed somebody with the speed that was going. There we go. Oh, look at that. How far do I have to get? 50 meters. I've just done it. 50.16. I've done it. I've just done it. I've qualified. I love it. Threw it into the crowd again. It doesn't matter. We've qualified. We're on to the next day. Javelin. Same difference, I think. Same sort of same sort of idea. And we've just got to run. And then we've got to throw. We've got to throw. Get the angle. 50 metres. There we go. There we go. There we go. So what do we need? 60 metres to, 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 to win. It's coming down, 40, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, it's so close, but so far away. Right, next time round. We'll do it when we get closer next time round. This is a good one, this is a good one. My fingers are getting tired now. 60, 60, angle of 65 degrees. Oh, it's a good, it's a good throw. It's up into the score table. It's coming down. It's coming down too fast. Oh, it's a lot shallower. Can you believe that? So you only need, you only need like 30, 40, 30, 40 degrees? There, 47. It's 47. Spot on. Come on. Come on. 60 meters, please. 60. 60 meters. 30 at the, when it's at the top. 30. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes! We did it! Can you believe it? Last one as well. Just 150 meters. Oh, this will be just running against the computer. I did. I, as I say, we did like these as, as kids. I, I know we did. All right. Okay. Here's our energy. We're running it full. All oh, right. We can adjust our speed with this one though. And then she's going up. There we go. Reducing our pace. We need to get that 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 that. And this is actually interesting because we're we're this is a more resource management game, isn't it? Right. So we're we're at the we're at the we've run the first lap. That'll be the first lap round. We got to do it in three hundred and uh, ten seconds. So. We're doing all right so far, I think. We're doing, we're doing all right. Just in, when you get in that pink bit there, when you get the energy up to the pink, that kind of exhausts you because that's you kind of running at full belt. So you can I, I didn't realise that was the case. I would have actually slowed us off a little bit to begin with, but we're okay. We're doing all right so far. So we got the energy going up slowly. We need to give it an absolute storming run for the final. 100 meters i think we need to go go for it we're actually all right time wise i think we're good i think we're very good we're on to the last and we're into the last sort of 500 meters um time is okay his energy's going down now though he's running a bit hard we're slowing off look we're showing that we're showing that that we're exhausted come on come on come on there we go, a little bit more speed, a little bit more speed, slow down a bit, 
Okay, let's... And then we'll get to that last 100 metres. We're going to absolutely belt it. Ready? Nearly there. Nearly there. Nearly there. Come on. We can do it. Let's go for it. Last 100 metres. Yes. We did it. Well and truly. Burst. I probably prop. I took that record for sure. Excellent. I did like these games. They were good. Very good. There we go. Top of the table. No, you couldn't play against somebody else. But I can see why we'd, we'd, we'd be here. Because you kind of... Next round is more difficult. The things are more difficult. What's that song? Do 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 Hmm. But you get to go around again now, so you do the hurdles again and it goes goes round and round, round till you run out. Um but the qualifying gets shorter and shorter and shorter until it's really, really, really difficult to actually qualify. Um so now it's thirteen point five seconds. No, it's the same as before. No, it's less than before because it's fourteen what's it? It's a second. Yeah, until you basically can't qualify anymore, so you're rubbish at qualifying. Oh, I'm just seeing if I can do better on the the the, the hurdles because I was no failed. See, failed. We failed. I don't think it drops us out of the game yet, or it might do. Ugh. No, it doesn't. It just keeps going. Actually, that's weird. I thought you lost lives. I don't know, I can't remember how you die on this then. There must be some way to die. You can't just keep going forever. I always thought it had a way of sort of dying. Right, okay, carry on. Let's go see what's next on this thing. Definitely going to be a two-parter. Um, so, well, because that, that was a long bit of not loading and then loading. Here we go. Something else. What we got? What we got? What we got? Nothing. Do it again. Go on, go for it. No, that's not good. Do it again. Try it again, try it again. You're gonna load. No, you see, you, you, you. Right, we're gonna change the. We're gonna put the other tape on. Another tape drive. We're gonna try that. See if we can get this one to work. If not, we're gonna be fast forwarding, but we'll give it a go. Remember last time around, we got we got away with it anyway, because it was Fred, wasn't it? And we got away with that. We 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 managed to sort of push through and get past. It's a shame I got the keys all mucked up. But uh, beyond that, I have to practice my Spanish, aren't I? You have to practice a bit of, a bit of speaking the Spanish. About we're about we're we're about halfway through the tape. It's not going to do it, is it? Try that again. That no, doesn't like that at all, does it? It doesn't like that one at all. Let's try this. Try this again from here. Let's put that back in there and just do that. Try. Let's do that. Oh. No, it's not having that one, is it? We are not, we are not, we are not, uh, we are not uh, launching with that one. That's just not going. Right, let's go. Let's try, let's try, let's try fast forwarding a bit and see if we can find something there. That wasn't bad. That wasn't very good. Wasn't even getting it from the other tape player, which is a problem. We'll just see if we can get something here. Nah, it doesn't like it. We'll just give it a bit more fast forward and see if we can get something else out of this. Come on, it knows it wants to. What have you had? What have we had two games out of here so far? Not been, not been brilliant. Daily Thompson's decathlon, a big one as usual. No. They're all halfway through as usual. When I got them, most of them, to be fair, and I had to fast forward and rewind them. Let me 
Just checking that for a second there. Fast forward again, sorry guys. And girls. There we go. Yeah, come on. Let's add we're not having a good time here. Let's see if we can get through this and see if we can find something good. Come on! You know you want to. I was hoping for some more exciting games. I was hoping I was hoping for a for a good one. Maybe the jet lagged from coming from Spain. <laughs> ah, bites one. Right, let's go back. Let's see if there's anything before this. Before bites one. There's a weird gap there. All right, let's let's do our let's do the let's do our trick. Let's do let's do load code, and we'll see if we can get anything to come up out of this. Just to the heck of it, and we'll see if there's anything there. Let's see if it see. It, let's just see if we can get it to do something. It'll be interesting. Come on. Just gonna load this code here. <laughs> There'll be nothing to list because it's in memory. Oh, that's fair enough. Let's uh, continue on. Let's do let's do the next. Let's do load it again. No, it's not having it, is it? It's not good. There's a, there's some breaks as well. There's all kinds of stuff going on here. No, see, that's a weird one there. There's a break there. It's obviously been recorded over a few times. Yeah, fingers crossed. All right. I don't know what that is. Two ra ar Egg, egg, heavy metal. All right, okay. I love heavy metal. <laughs> okay. He loves heavy metal. Whatever this is, I have no idea what this is. I love heavy metal. Don't we all? That's look. That that looks really interesting. Let's go. We've got to get this one a lot. This could be something interesting. Come on then, this one looks interesting. I might, might, I might search for this and play ZX while we're looking for this. Let's see what this is. See if we can find it. I heart heavy metal. Oh, gonna have a quick look in here and see if we can find, see if we can find this one. Fingers crossed. It's no, it's known game. Not very good, that. Oh, it is. It's by Toposoft from 1988. It does exist. Let us, let us, let us put it on. Um. Let's do this through my other way of doing things. Toposoft, 1988. It's a good long one, so I'm gonna. Do you know what I might try? We might try. We might try 128k mode. We'll give that a whirl. See if we can see if we can get to load in 128k. It's just in case, just in case it's 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 something that that needs to you know needs to be in. All right. So this is actually Toposoft was a, a Spanish company. They kind of disappeared in I think it was '94. I actually read about these guys funnily enough this morning. Isn't that bizarre? Um, and and it, they disappeared in '94. Um, and then they kind of reappeared in 98 as part of another group. I think they were called Pyro Software. They still exist, I think, today. And Toposoft has sort of been re... has kind of uh, kind of come out of... Um, has, has re been reborn as Toposoft for, but with hit squads. That's what they've been reborn with. So there's, there's them, actually. So they do exist, actually. They're still here. This is quite interesting. I've no, no, no idea what this game is. 1988, they did have some good quality ranges of games within their within their sort of brand. Yep, that's their, definitely their logo. It's very fancy, isn't it? All that effort. A 
looking at that thing at the beginning though, it looks like, sorry, I'm just drinking coffee again. Looking at that thing at the beginning there, it looked like um, somebody would cracked the game, possibly, put something in it, maybe to make it easier. Possibly. I'm trying to pronounce it though, I'm trying to work out how I can pronounce it. No, no idea. To top a soft game, we'll stick with that. That's the easy answer to the question. We'll put, we'll stop with that. So while this is out, uh, where are we at? We're about, you know, we're just over halfway through this tape. So, so, so we've got a little bit to go. Yeah, it's, it's not been the most successful of tapes. I mean, we've had what Fred loading. We've had the Daily Thompson's Decathlon Day One fail twice. Daily Thompson's Decathlon Day Two install, um, and now we're on to this one. Ooh, look at that! That's very fancy. Ooh, very fancy indeed. It was a very popular computer actually in Spain. From 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 all I've gathered, it was a very popular place for it. It's like it's a bit like France and um, the the Amstrad CPC. It's very popular in France as the Amstrad CPC. I don't think it was. Well, did it make it to Spain? I'm not sure. I imagine it did. But the Specky, I think, had got its had got its its talons in. It's got its claws into it. To be honest with you. So this guy's going to be saving her from whatever he's saving her from. It's fair comment. With his sabre. That sort of curved blade. His sabre. Curved blade. I'm not full of chat today, am I? I'm not as full of chat as usual, actually. I'm not, I think... Do you know what it was? I've had a... I've had a, a, a I think I, I discussed this in some, another video just, just that I've been was working on earlier, but... Um, yeah, I just had a long week last week, and I was quite... I'm quite... I was quite pleased for, for sort of the weekend to roll around and, and an opportunity to kind of do sort of... I guess my own thing, you know, enjoy enjoy your, enjoy a bit of a uh, bit of bit of sort of gaming on the sp on the spectrum, a bit of gaming on the on 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 my PC and all that kind of stuff. I really do like gaming though. I've, uh, recently, I've really kind of got back into the. I not that I didn't anyway, and I've always kind of enjoyed games. And I've been doing you know I've been doing the YouTube stuff for about five years now. But 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 I've really enjoyed games. But recently, I've really 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 got back into it. Um, I mean I've. I, I, I mean, I'm, I, I'm nothing, not not particularly retro. I modded my um, Xbox um, so that I could uh, put change the hard disk because it was faulty. Um, just a soft mod, nothing particularly exciting, but it allowed me to do that. Also allows you to copy your discs onto it, which is great. So I've got my games and discs, and I actually collect for the Xbox. I also collect um, for the PS2, but I collect in a nice way. I collect. I collect I've decided to collect for them, not 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 like everything. Um, I don't need. The, the whole collection. The only games collection I'm actually going for the whole thing on is is my Master System collection. Um, my System games. I'm so close to being so finished to that, but but that's the only system I'm really collecting for everything for it. However, to be fair, in the long run, um, if you were looking for the Xbox, you could probably do that because it's it's a total of about 800 games. However, it's a lot easier to class, class, collect for the Master System, which in European terms is only about 327, I think it is. So so uh, there's a list. I've got a list somewhere. Um, so, so the, you know, you, it's fairly simple to collect for it. But I've really quite have enjoyed the, the the games recently. I've enjoyed some really bizarre and horrible. Technically, they're, they're they're rubbish, but you go, yeah, it's really good. I quite enjoyed it. I mean, I'm pl playing um, a game called Runabout on the PlayStation One. I don't know where Runabout One is actually. Runabout Two is what's on the PlayStation, and Runabout Three, and I quite enjoyed them. They're just silly arcade um, sort of drive along in cars, smashing into things, and I've really kind of enjoyed that. And I've really got kind of back into it and I've, as I say I was, I'm looking forward to my weekend of doing that it's just my brain's a little bit sort of I think just a little bit cotton wool today it's kind of a bit, a bit it's just been a it's just been a long week not a bad week I, I, I never really I don't I never dislike working that in in a way. I just I just find it some so just sometimes it's a bit draining in the sense of that that it's hard. So um, it could be a bit draining. Right. Okay. So Camston keyboard. Whatever. If I press number one again, do you think I get keyboard again? No. Not what I thought I was going to get. Right. I'm going to move my la my, my, my my thing out of the way. So we've got keyboard. Otherwise, I'm going to try. I'm going to play it with zero. I'm going to hope that we've got controls. Ah. Right. Okay. Q A O P and space, I bet you. And space, and he shoots from the hip. Ooh, isn't that nice? Look at them graphics. Did this ever get launched in the UK? I don't think it did. 
This is a game that probably does need to be to be whatever else it is re relaunched. Wait, he's not gonna he's not gonna be killed by that. Oh, we can go down the alleyways. Wow, this is looks. Does this look good? Oh, I, I need a copy of this now. Straight to eBay. eBay it is. I don't know which direction I'm meant to be going here though. Uh, it doesn't doesn't it says it's street names there. I think at the bottom. Do you think I can break into his uh, his 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 facility there? If I go up here, no, he's trying not to. He's trying to prevent me getting in there. No. Nope. Can't even shoot him to get out of the way. Get out! Get out! Let me get in. No, he's hurting my health. There's a lady with a walking along the street. Hello, lady. You shoot her. Probably not meant to. I wonder how you meant to get past them guys. Anybody ever play this game or ever see this game? It's not a game I've seen or played before. Very impressive. I like the graphics. The, the guy's very smooth. The movement's very good as well. Look at this. Look how smooth that is. And the graphics look nice. They they really do. They, there's a real effort we made with these with these with these sort of outfits and the look and the, the feel and the walk and whatever else. It's very nice indeed. Don't know where I'm going. There's a lady at the top window there. She's going to chuck something at me. Watch. So he's trying to hit me with that. Oh, I like it. That's really good. Don't know what I'm meant to be doing, but it's very good. Um, I want to get in where he is because he's got like a room that he's in. No, can't get in there. He won't let me in his room, his office. He's 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 walking well away from his. He's coming at me now. When he sees me, he comes at me. Yeah, you can't get. Let me in there. I want to go in there. Is there any other buttons? No, doesn't seem to be. Huh. Oh, I nearly made it. There must be a. This is a mappable one, though. This is one you want to be mapping. This is a. This is a game where mapping is a big, big factor in the in the in in the thing. Um, also, knowing what you're meant to be doing is also, I think, a factor. Ah. He's saying something to me. I should not have shot him. I've shot him, and I've. He's maybe my victim was there because I've now. There's a number in the corner there by the machine gun down on the bottom uh, right hand corner that's gone from z um, zero two to zero to zero one so maybe i'm meant to be killing those guys those those chaps those dudes there that were really was unhappy with me let's have a little look and see if i can find somebody else watch that oh no it's just bullets sorry i apologize it's bullets it was bullets that's gone down to the, that number the bullets are in the bottom by the gun what a surprise Hmm. Don't know what I'm meant to be doing, but I tell you what, it's impressive, isn't it? The graphics are nice. I've not played this game before, and that looks that look, the graphics look really nice. I just don't know what we're meant to be doing. Let us carry. Let us let us continue on our adventures in in finding out what's on this tape. Let's see what else is there. Well, that was a good start. Right, so I need to fast forward a significant amount of time because it was a long load that one. Interesting. Topo Soft. As I say, the people who have come back with with more hit squads. I played Lorna the other day on my uh, channel, which is quite good. Uh, Lorna was uh, was the Alfonso. Oh, I can't remember his last name. He's basically the artist who he did some comic books and she appeared in it. Um, you can tell from the styling of it that, that it was kind of based on the comic book, the heavy metal comic books. If you've ever seen those, uh, was it? Is it heavy metal? Yes, I think it is, isn't it? They're really quite good. The, the, the art is fantastic. There's even a there's a movie actually. It's on Netflix at the moment. Heavy um, heavy metal. It's it's um, it's weird. Uh, it's uh, it's got John Candy in it, and it's kind of it's quite sexualized in its in its nature. But it's but it's a very arty piece of work. I quite like it. I have to admit, I, I did I did like it. It's bizarre. MT I think it's MTV sponsored it bizarrely. So um, yeah. Interesting thing. 
Let's see what else is on here. Let's go for it. Let's see what else we've got on here. All right, we've got space, hopefully. A lot of background noise. Lots of background noise. Hopefully something else. We've got about a teeny smidge, like a centimetre of tape to go. A very quiet centimetre. Ah, there was something there. There was something there. Let's leave it. Come on then. Tutor. Okay. Our tape error. Wow. We're not having a good time with this with this particular tape, are we? It really is. It's a really terrible tape. Um, let's just rewind that a bit and see if we can get Tutor to work. It's been a bad tape, this one. No, that is just that's just a this is a bad tape. It's a terrible tape. It's not we've 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 had bad tapes before, but this has been a this has been a this has been been, been ratty. And I'm having a look at it. It doesn't the tape tape itself doesn't look the the best. So um, let's just um, flip this in here. Do need to get another cable, by the way, because if you notice, my screen blacks out every so often, and I think my cables I think my cables on the fritz as well. Blow my neck. Can't make it up, can you? You know, when sometimes when things go wrong, just can't make it up. It's not. I think I think it's been overused by me. Sort of me throwing things around. Let's try this again. Let's do load the dip and let's try it from this other tape drive. Yep. There we go. Yeah, it's not good. Look. Let's give it a rewind. Try it again, one more try. No, that's not, that's not, the, the tutor could be anything, that's the problem. Tutor could be anything, I'm just going to quickly look at that while this is trying to do that, but I don't think it's going to, I don't think we're going to, I don't think we're going to find anything. Tutor. No. Yeah, I searched that. There's nothing there under tutor. Let's do another fast forward with it and let's see whether or not we can find anything else. That's that was that's bad, isn't it? That's really bad. That's really, really bad. One of the, uh, do you know something? It's just one of those things, isn't it? You get good tapes, you get bad tapes, and this is from one of those ones that's been absolutely naff when it's come to load and stuff. And it's quite large whatever this tutor thing is as well, which is even worse. I went for this particular tape because of the fact that it actually did have Spanish wording on the front of it. And I thought, you know what, this will be this will be the most interesting thing that we can, we've got. Um, oh, tutor two, tutor one is is loading, so I think, I hope. But it had sort of the Spanish writing on the front, so I was hoping that that, that that we would get some different versions. And to be fair, we did get something there that we hadn't seen before. I certainly hadn't seen before. We had Fr uh, we had Fred in Spanish. We obviously did Thompson to Kathleen was in English. Um, was it? No, I don't think it was, was it? I think I think we we actually had um, Spanish writing on the main menu as well. So, I don't know. And we've got obviously this tutor thing. Um, we've we've had a few things, Lord. Not 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 been. It's not been touched. You know, that sort of touch wood kind of thing. It's not been brilliant. So, I hope your weekend's going well. I hope you're having a good weekend, or you've had a good week or a good day. If you're having a good time, just put it in the comments below. Say, I'm having a great time. <laughs> I was, I as I say, just one of those weeks this week. Just, very, just, just, just draining. Not, not, not bad. Just draining. I guess. So there's the answer to that. Yeah. That's loading. It seems so far. I have my fingers crossed. Cross your fingers, please. <laughs> oh no. List. A tutor program, 14K, 10th, uh, 30th of the 10th, 1983, tutor 1. Um, right, let's see if we can, I know it hasn't loaded, but we can, we can, ah, oh, no, it's totally off, look. There's no, there's no running that. Yeah, it's failed. Tutor 1, whatever that is, no idea what that is. 
Can't even. I don't do. do don't do. Don't do Spanish. So I have no idea what that is. That's ah, a nightmare. Right. Let's try something else. Let's see if we can find something else to load on here. See if Tutor Two's here. See if Tutor Two loads. You could probably get a tutor or something. I have no idea what I'm getting tutored in. I'm guessing educational software here. Somebody know what the Spanish that is? Then then please translate below. We could always Google Translate it, I suppose. I don't like using the word Google Translate because it's kind of well, it's, it's it's there's other translators out there. Other translators are available. Penetrator. Oh, I know this one. This is kind of a this is a Melbourne house game um, where you I think. It, Oh, no, it's not. It's not the Melbourne House game. This is the one we've played. This one's appeared before. This one is... I'm sure this is a Scramble clone, if I remember rightly. Or it could be the Melbourne House one. Oh, now, now I'm totally tripping over myself. I'm sure... It, I'm sure it's... Well, it's, it's one of the two. <laughs> could, it could be anything, really. Um, okay. Well, that's a bad thing. It started loading and then crashed. Let's have a little look. Right, okay, so that's that side finished. I'm not going to continue on with that beyond what we'll try and do now. I'm going to search for that on... Um, on PlayZX, on the, the, the app um, on my phone, which is really handy. And we'll search for that and we'll just load that from the, the, the phone. What do you think? What do you say? Let's do that. Let's finish Let's finish on a on a game that actually is going to load from the tape. So, so we'll see what's there. Definitely a surprise whether or not we've got it or not. Right. Okay, let's do that. Right. Well, it should be on here. I would be surprised if it wasn't. Melbourne House re-released. There's a Spanish version. I wonder if it's one of the Spanish ones. There is a Spanish one called from Micro, from Microbit, or Microbyte from '93. I wonder if it's that one. Shall we go with that one and see whether it's that? Because this will be more interesting. Let's go with the Spanish version from Microbit. It's a re-release. No, so it's definitely Melbourne Houses by the looks of things. But we'll go with the Spanish one. Let's go. Let's go the whole hog. If we're playing Spanish games, let's play Spanish games. Yes. What do you say? Um, let's do. Let's finish. Let's finish on a high. A game that loads, and then we'll we'll do the next part next week, which is probably going to be just as disastrous. And if I get really annoyed, I might just get take a fifteen minute tape out of my my other collection and throw it to one side. In fact, we'll do that. I'll show you a fifteen minute tape, and if this this is really naff. We'll hoy that. that we'll we'll hoy it out halfway through. All right, so that you don't have to sit through all of the loading failures because it's just so annoying. We're just gonna go for it. Yeah. So penetrator. This is. Um, I can't remember the keys for this, but I do remember it's. I do. I do. I have got it. I think it's 4D print penetrator. Actually, is its its full name. Um. It might be that one. I'm, I am just. I am. I am searching for it. No, it might be. It might be what I thought it was. Oh, I'm having such a bad time here with working, working out what's what. Beam soft. No, it's not the Melbourne House ones. Beam soft one. Right. Let's have a look and see whether I can find it or not. Right. Australian Melbourne House. Philip Mitchell. Yes, it is. It was a Melbourne House. I totally, totally confused myself. And it is uh, basically scramble. That's exactly what it is. Scramble. And the keys are... I'm just having a look. Let's we'll save ourselves a bit of time. Yep, I've definitely got this. It's not 4D, though. What was I thinking of? I'm thinking of 4D um, pterodactyl. That's what I'm thinking of. Pterodactyl. Wow. Which one did I go with? Did I go with the um, Microbyte one? Microbyte cover's quite nice, actually. I'm just looking at it, actually, on... Uh, um What's come what site am I on? Spectrumcomputing.co.uk Instructions Let's find the keys. No, that's the Spanish instructions. Although we're doing Spanish, I really could do with the English instructions. That would be nice. There we go. Um blowing up bases, custom you, Ah that's right, you can customize your own levels. It's kinda cool that way. So what's the controls? Uh, to move the cursor up and down, QAOP, that's customization. In game is. 
Uh, thrust and brake. It's um, P and O. Wow. Right, okay. Um, firing. What are the keys? Controlled by Q and A. Alright, Q, A. Moves it up and down. What's to move forward? I'm just looking here. Up and down. Um, it's got O and P are involved in shooting things. And A is the thing. O and P. Right. So you think you can only just move up and down? That's fine. We'll do, we'll we'll go with that. We'll finish. We'll 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 work it out. I think is the answer to that. If there's any way to find the keys, we'll do that. I don't know if there is though. It's funny though, wasn't it? Because at the end of the day, when the Spectrum games and all the other things were coming out, there was they were they were still learning, um, you know, what were the best configuration for keyboards, mice, and all this kind of stuff. And it's really weird because um, the home computers, uh, the thing that came through from the arcade, effectively, was the joystick. Um, but the joystick is seen as quite old school nowadays because we all use joy pads mostly on our new games, modern games. Because I think it's it's obviously your fingers are much more dexterous and you can there's much more buttons and there's much more configurations you can have. So so a joy pad is the the, the canon the, the new norm. Um, they kind of appeared with with the with the with the. I guess they must have been quite alien when people saw them with the with the the Nintendo Entertainment System and and Master System and things like that. They probably seem quite alien realistically, but they, that's that's where they they came from in the end I think that's loaded yep there we go I remember this because it's got these fireworks at the beginning it's, I thought it were quite cool that's the ones yeah penetrator excellent we'll let it do its we'll let it do its text thing that it does right across the screen well I don't think we've got any option I think it, uh, we have to let it do its text thing across the screen there we go I always love that beam soft thing where it's like beep, blur, 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 blur. Right, okay. Uh, oh, I don't know which one to press. Let's, but we're gonna do it. Number one. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Right, so this is us. That's moving up and down. That's slow down. There we go. That's bomb. So it's Q A O P in space. Um, what's laser? Is laser zero? I think zero's laser, which is really awkward. No, it's not. Right, okay, that's bomb. It's actually not bad. It's not a bad game at all. I, I, don't, I'm, I don't think that... I don't think... I'm, there must be a laser. There must be a laser. Don't believe that there's a laser. Oh, maybe there's just there, maybe there is just bomb. I guess you could just avoid it with bomb. I I, I thought there would be a laser though, don't wouldn't you? Maybe it's just me. There's a laser. Fires it. If I had a laser there, I don't want to hit. I don't know what I'm hitting for the laser, because you see how I fired forward there? There must be a laser on it. So it's been... It's, so the Spanish writing's in there. There we go. Does it again? Did it again? It's not bad, actually. It's not a bad shoot up at all, actually. I quite, I quite like it. I... It fires a laser at the beginning, and I have no idea why it does that. That, how are you going to make it through there without a laser? Um, where would it be? Is it enter? There's, there's, that Find a laser there again. Game over. It's so annoying. Can't work out where the laser is. Is it one of these bottom keys? Maybe it's the V. My name. That's me. That's really cool, though. That's a good game to end. That's a, certainly a good game to end on. We're going to give it another try, though. 
Max Demon. My score. Punt. I don't think that's probably correct how you pronounce it. Right. Yeah, okay. Show us the menus and then let's have another go. Uh, one. You can edit the levels on this one, actually. I wonder if it's the Z key and the... No, that's bomb. I don't know what key it is. What, what am I missing? I am definitely missing a key here. It's really annoying, actually. Well, we'll have a go. We'll see what we can do. But, but okay, without, without, without being able to fire a, 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 a missile, you're kind of a bit stuck, really. I'll try. I'm, try, I'm gonna try quickly. Try some other keys. Quick, quick, quick. But it goes so quick along the screen. You can't, can't do anything about it. That was interesting, they didn't fire, the missiles didn't go off. I thought it might be the top keys, actually, to be honest with you. I was, I was thinking it was the top keys, let's see. No, that, that moves. That was a cursor. It fired a laser there and I didn't do anything. Does it, does it, maybe it charges it up and fires it every so often? I don't know. I didn't do anything. I just used the normal QAOP and space to fire. And then all of a sudden it fired a laser. I don't know. I don't know why it does it. No idea. Very weird. Strange. Strange. But it does mean that I'm a bit stuck when I get up to this bit here, because there's a bit of the level where we get to shortly. Um, this is so smooth, actually. It's really slick. Here. I need to fire a missile to get... I need to fire a bot. I need to fire a, th a, a, um, a laser to get past it. Oh, well. Um, if anybody knows what the actual fire button for Penetrator is, that would be really nice. Put it in the comments below. Anyway, I've been your host, Real Genetic Demon. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe. And next week, if that fails too many times, we're ditching it for something else. So I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye now.